We're here with Niels Frey, head coach at Alinghi Red Bull Racing. So you had a light and variable win today. You started with some testing and data gathering in the morning. You're sailing in different modes, ride heights, pitch. And Chase Bravo was often very close on leeward. Can you run us through what you were looking for today? Yeah, we had a pretty short uh, window in terms of uh, weather. I think we made most of it and lo looking at uh, you know, different uh, testing uh, things and uh, sails and, and falls and, uh, as you said, yeah, different configurations. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, it was a pretty interesting day. Obviously, we don't have the conclusions yet. We have to go into the pictures and, and video and, and data. But I, I think it was... Um, pretty good conditions for two hours and not too many waves and pretty stable wind so at, at one stage was was really good testing so as we said a lot of variation in the wind you didn't change the jib you're using your new j1 um your new j1 sail and your new m1 sail main sail so how were the sails performing yeah well it was not too much uh, about all the the performance uh, side of it today but uh, definitely it's always nice when you have new sales it always looks uh, fresh and, and nice and and and, and think uh, we're happy with the design it is going and, and what we're trying to achieve obviously we have to see again in, in the data and, um, and and the pictures and, and to see how we can translate that also for for the bigger sales for the big boat and um, yeah but definitely a valuable uh, lessons today how important is the simulator in your in your opinion compared to sailing the 75 in real life oh it's it's super important i mean so it's, it's an ongoing development and i think we're getting closer and closer to, to reality as all the teams uh, do and, and i think we we use it for a lot of different topics you know um, testing the crews but testing obviously um, material and um, yeah it's a super important thing in in the campaign so when you're testing your crew on the on a simulator how do they compare then to real life and where do you see the biggest differences? Uh, well, you know, we, so far we haven't been really into racing mode and, uh, you know, so obviously then when, when you go into racing, I think uh, it's a little bit uh, different, uh, different things. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, if you, you compare a little bit the guys on, on the water, on the sim, you, you can see some parallels and, uh, and obviously see what, what you can improve and, and test also on the human work on the on the sim. And do you think now you've got your new AC40, is that going to make a big difference? Are you going to you know, change the sailing program heavily? Oh yeah, I mean for sure uh, on the 40. I mean this, this, uh, the boats are really nice to sail, and, and I think we're coming to that stage where we'll be really happy to have uh, two out there, and it's it's coming pretty pretty soon. So I think it will be really exciting to go with two boats, and, and then obviously slowly going into a bit more um, racing mode, preparing for for the first races. So that'll be really exciting. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks for sharing. Okay.